These are the SMGs of Modern Warfare 3 with the Gilded Camo Challenges completed. Fortunately, the SMG Camo Challenges are not difficult in my opinion. However, unfortunately, the things that track your progress for the kills do not count properly, so you have to do way more than you need to. It's really more so just annoying than difficult whenever the challenges don't track, but it just is what it is. Like I said, they're not super hard to complete, they just take longer than they should for no reason. However, I do upload every day to this channel, so like and sub down below if you enjoyed the video, but let's hop into some action. So a quick rundown on things we have to do today. I already have my Rival 9 and my WSP Swarm gilded. I don't have to worry about those. I got those gilded just by using them to record for my videos. The normal striker is the gun I have to do the most for, but even with that said, it's not really that much. I need six hip fire kills, four stun kills, and then the 10 kills without taking damage for the actual gilded challenge. So we're gonna start off with the striker, and I need, I should have wrote it down, or something. I need six hip fire kills and four stun kills to beat the prerequisites. I'm just using the class I used for my class setup yesterday, but if I'm smart, which I'm being right now, I'm going to actually take off the rear grip and put on the hip fire laser. I don't know why I didn't do that before. I was just kind of using the classes that had made sense to me for the longest time, but now nah, let's do this. One two so if my brain is braining i need four more three more damn i was really hoping to get that kill i think i need two more one more that should be the last one now i just need stun kills but i'm out of stuns all right so i need three more stun kills Two, maybe? I don't know. I legitimately don't know. I can't count. I legitimately don't know what number I'm at, so I'm just going to keep playing. Alright, that should be everything I need. I have no idea why my frames are so bad. Nope, apparently only two of, like, the seven I just got counted. We love that. I have no idea if any of these are counting. I legitimately just don't know. I probably didn't get a single one there. Alright, that should be my last one. I'm backing out and praying to God that's all I need because I just... I can't get the AR players off the headies. Okay, so we completed it at some point and made progress towards this. So real quick before we head back in, let me look at my other challenges. Alright, we loaded into Hardcore Ship Miss now. I'm I'm kind of chalking my idea of going from most hard to least hard, just because it's going to be easier just to get these challenges done this way, I think. Because it's going to be a one-shot kill in Hardcore, and if I take damage, I'm just dead, so I don't have to worry about counting. So I need six more, five more, four more. My frames will not stop dropping. I don't know what the problem is. Call of Duty, fix yourself, please. Three more... Two more. One more, maybe? I actually don't know. And then that should be all I need for good measure. So now I'm going to swap to my AMR-9. I need two hip-fire kills with the AMR-9, then my ten kills without taking damage. And I have basically an LMG build of the AMR-9, so this may not go good at all. Need another hip-fire kill. I have 100 bullets. I'm just going to hold the corner. There it is. I find it very hard to believe this guy didn't peek up. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. keep going for good measure honestly because i actually have no idea that should be the amr9 done and then just to finish off the easy ones i need eight with my striker nine seven teammate killed me but six i am going to make a safe bet that i need four more three more these guys are just laying down in the middle of the map it's so fucking annoying like what is everyone laying down for i don't get it all right, that was technically one, but I killed my teammates, so I'm going to assume that's good and I'm going to dip. All right, so what did we use that match? We used the normal striker. That's gilded, W. We used the AMR-9, also gilded, W. And then the striker 9, also gilded, W. 
So using process of elimination, that means the only thing I haven't gotten gilded is going to be the WSP9, which I need seven stun kills and then the 10 kills without taking damage. And also while I was thinking about it, I have on the demolition vest and the scavenger gloves now to make life a little bit simpler for the stun kills. All right, I'm loading back into hardcore for my stun kills because I'm gonna see what I can get away with because it seems a lot easier just to yeet stuns. All right, if there's gonna be grenade launchers, my plan isn't gonna work. All right, my plan's not gonna work if there are grenade launchers. We're gonna try again. Is this the lobby I just left? This is the lobby I just left. Stop doing this. The technology exists to put a cooldown in the game so you cannot queue with the same group of players you just played with. The technology exists. I know it does. If I leave a lobby, don't put me back in the exact same lobby. All right, that might be the worst idea I've ever had. We're gonna see if I made any progress on that and go back to regular <laughs> shipness because my, my god, I wasn't expecting there to be five enemy turrets in play at one time. As far as the game is concerned, I got three. I got way more than three, but this game just hates counting. So anyway, now we're just gonna go back to normal ship miss and see if that's any better because getting spawn trapped by auto turrets is absolutely mind numbing. All right, four more, <laughs> hopefully. What the hell did I stun then? I think I need like one or two more. I, I don't know. I don't know what counts and what doesn't count anymore. I've lost my sense of reality. All right, I'm going to assume that's the last one so I can get the hell out of this cancer pit. Because this is so stupid now. I legitimately do not understand how that's not 15. I needed five going into that match. I got like way more, way more than five. I was being safe. I got way more than five to be safe. But according to the game, we got three. I'm not generally one of the people that's like multi-billion dollar company makes video game that doesn't work complainers like on Twitter, but like this is stupid. How does the basic counting function not work? All right, I'm assuming that's everything I need, so I'm going to leave again because that's definitely 15. Okay, that's 15, whatever. It was actually more like 37, but whatever. All right, against my better judgment, I loaded back into hardcore for the final kill where I need kills without taking damage. Now we need nine more, eight more, seven more, six more, five more. Four more, I think. I don't know what's happening because my game is, like, skipping insanely whenever I do things, so. Three more. Two more. And somewhere along the line, I think that was everything I needed. And ka -chow. There we go. We have all the SMGs gilded. I'm not gonna lie. This wasn't hard. It's just falling into the same problem that everything falls into in this game. There's one thing that just doesn't work the way it's supposed to and it ruins the entire experience. Because like these challenges aren't hard, but they're artificially made harder whenever the they just don't count the right way. But as I log off inspecting my gilded WSP9, because this was by far the most difficult one for zero reason. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you guys are going to come back and stay tuned for the next camo challenge video I make, or the just next video I make in general, whether it's a class setup or a challenge like I've been doing in these videos, who knows? If you like the video, like and sub down below because I do upload every day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next upload. Pizza.